Hey guys, and welcome back to Minecraft. My name is Twitchy, and we are here in my bedroom on the Close Encounters farm, but more importantly, this is on the shore of Lake Pizzazz. If I actually got down the water in time, I'd be able to go Lake Pizzazz, the site of my latest project. Yes, indeed. Uh, this uh, stack right here is where I wish to build a farm. I am after tridents because actually, I am after banner patterns and to get the banner pattern that I want I need to get myself a well it's not particularly a creeper face but I would like a creeper face a zombie face and a skeleton face to do that the easiest way is to smash a creeper in the face with a trident when there's a thunderstorm you get all like the charged creeper and use that charged creeper to blow up the mob next to it uh, but that that's that's a long way into the future right now we are trying to make a drowned farm and indeed I have uh, over the past episode done quite a good job of finding all the caves underneath here and pushing the spawns to the surface and unfortunately there's none around right now that, that that's typical absolutely typical uh, but of course to get all the mobs spawning exactly where I want them to be indeed in this little area here is where I want all of my drowned if I turn F3B do we do we see any drowned out and about well what I need to do is to find the radius that I feel like they would track to the center of course that is different for different types of luring devices but uh this blue line here uh, and then go around the outside and start lighting this area up when I pressed H you, you saw this pop up here one it gave me a hologram of a hundred uh, how many, how many blocks? give me a 42 block radius circle here and I'm about to drown let's get up to the surface this 42 block uh, radius should be the distance the drowned will track villagers and or uh, iron golems from uh, what, what have we got over here are you yeah drowned okay cool these drowned uh, what I'm after and as I say I need to go around and light this outside area up we've already done one part of the process and this is now the second uh, I have some ideas on what I'm going to put down but you know what I think it's time to do some research first Ow, I got hit by a trident. Because whilst I do have a brain that provides a lot of ideas, I, I am not the, all the brains in the world. Did we get, did we get, did we, did we get the trident? That's that. I got a trident. All right, hi. But, I mean, obviously, we're still going to make the farm. Don't get me wrong. Uh, so because I, I don't, because I'm not like the most imaginative, just secondary imaginative let's turn those boxes off over there uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the internet in fact I'm gonna go to reddit uh, there is a subreddit there called detail craft uh, there, there they deal with uh, lots of finer finer details small builds if you will and I'm just gonna search the word uh, water uh, I, I do have to point out though detail craft definitely has some of the sexiest mods I've ever seen around two major ideas that I have spotted from this search and I want to take away from. First off, we have this this orca. What a great idea. But of course, we do sci-fi building over here. So I'm going to replace the bottom with like some sort of glowstone or something like that. Make it a real sci-fi-ness. Uh, another, on, another uh, sorry, that's by uh, by AD Craft up there. Uh, that's great. Uh, another honorable mention I'd like to, uh, to throw out is this, this underwater terraforming here. Absolutely love it. We could probably uh, hide a bunch of lighting around there by Ven Venometer. Uh, we're going to go with that 420 hype. Uh, and then the one that really I feel like we're going to be doing the most work with is this one here by um, I, I Pe Pecanino Tim, I think we're going to go with there. Uh, if we click on here, uh, we can see what beautiful little geysers. Now, we, we can build upon all of this, but uh, yeah, that's, that's definitely what I'm taking most inspiration from right now. Uh, to that end, here we are in my base. I've uh, been making a whole bunch of... Wait, 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 wait. In, in here. Sea pickles. So we're, we're going to go around and light up. Uh, if you didn't know, sea pickles underwater give off light depending on how many you put down in one spot. They're much like candles in that way. And then over here, I'm fairly sure we can grab ourselves a whole bunch of magma blocks. But I'm also going to grab some shroom lights and some glowstone just to hide amongst those orange colours there. I think that would look pretty good. Is there any other... Uh, nether type blocks that we can fit underground. I also have various frog lights that we can use and perhaps there's other stuff around that we can get going with. But I, th I think I think really all that I need to do is just start getting underwater and building.
dog poles. I call them dog poles. They're kind of like tadpoles, but they have a dog face. And I, I also noticed this. I mean, look, look at these guys. Ah, oh, I needed another one as well. But look at these guys. Aren't they cool? Uh, but uh, we, we've, we've got so much more to do here. And I really wanted to build a farm at some point. So I think uh, now, now's the time to not be doing any more of this. Uh, the dog poles were cool, but you know what? The star of the show, the absolute star of the show down here has got to be this whale. I am so overjoyed with how this came out. Uh, I uh, just, just was playing around in a creative world, in the creative world that we run on the server parallel to the uh, survival world here. Uh, and yeah, th this just came out so well, so well indeed. The crystals over here, pretty good. I like, I like them. The white ones are kind of confusing and I don't know whether I want to clump different colours together or keep them separate like over here. I, I, I don't know which one's the winner, but I like throwing a, a simple idea down and then uh, riffing out a whole bunch of different ideas based on uh, maybe just different palettes or something like that. And speaking of the dog poles, I wanted to actually do a cherry dog pole, but I, I had realized I had realized that I did not have the whole of Adventure Time. And there's only one bio missing. And at this point, the, the state of the game being what it is, there can only only really be one biome that I'm missing uh, and uh, uh, yes that that's it it's just come into view over there it's got to be the cherry biome right uh, a whole bunch of other people have gone around on the server and got the uh, got the sapling so I could quite easily have just got it from them but I, I think no I think we're gonna come in and, and tell me that this is adventure time yes beautiful beautiful of course th this is an achievement that I had already got let's just pick out one on their own and take it down because of course uh, the leaves will decay this is a weird one you're weird we're, we're gonna rip you down that that that's how we uh, decide that oh look uh, do i do i have silk touch on this i don't i've got fortune actually fortune's good fortune would give me extra saplings right and that's that's what i'm after okay wait for the leaves to decay got myself some saplings that's what i'm mostly here for but you know whilst we're here let's grab ourselves some petals as well i'll just grab some from a variety of places i forgot to bring any bone meal with me so we can't unfortunately uh make the renewable options here. Oh, look, the little sheep's up here. We've got, we got ourselves a, a meadow. Is it a meadow? It is indeed. Beautiful. I need to bring a jukebox. Where, where, oh, no, I've been working on my music room. There's nothing in my music box. Wait, wait, wait. We can we can do it. i got a jukebox. I've got um, other side. Here we go. And the sound of music. Beautiful, beautiful. That That is exactly what I want. Why am I not hearing... Oh, there it is. It, 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 the music's coming through. The music's coming through. Beautiful. All right, well, that was a surprise extra advancement. I wasn't really expecting to do that one today, but there we go. Man, I, I really need to uh, do a few... Excuse me. Excuse me. I really need to do a few more of these at some point. Maybe that'll be a little mini-series we can do. You know, let me know in the comments if that's something you'd like to see. Uh, and now I need to take this guy out. Why, why the armor? Why? And just look how it looks like at night. Uh, we are by no means done here. I can definitely see just a, a much more colorful backdrop being built. The beginnings of these crystals is definitely the first idea. And of course, as I say, the uh, the dog poles over here is a great idea, but we could probably fill in a few more details. But there is so much more to do. But there's two, there's two problems with us just moving on when doing all of the light up. One, Oh, it's taken me a while. It's taken about two weeks just to workshop some ideas and come up with some great little tableaus to put down. I, I really want to put, as I was saying, some more like geothermal stuff and things like that around. But the second problem is that every time I light up a little area, this section in here becomes just a little bit more deadly, which is the, uh, the intention, as you may remember. We do indeed want as many drowned spawning here as possible, uh, but it does also make it a a little bit awkward to be working here so I've already started putting down uh, what I'm gonna call the bait cage uh, we, we need to put a li little little villager here bobbing up and down tempting drowned over has become a little bit awkward uh, the the law device shall we say the the villager needs to be standing in water they need to have a line of sight it needs to be daytime not nighttime uh, and also I mean the line of sight was by far the hardest thing to do because of course we also want them 
and protected from drowns with trident. So any way I could get the the, the villager or iron golem or whatever to to be uh, safe in the middle was this trapdoor and fence gate uh, affair. Let's uh, let's drink this water breathing potion and see if it shows us a little more detail. No, it's the conduit I'm thinking of that shows us detail. Well, I've got the conduit down, but I may have done uh, the order of operations just a little bit wrong whilst building this farm. I probably should have built the whole superstructure first and then We'll take the copper, thank you very much. Uh, and, and then made it mob proof around here. But you know what? I, th I think we can soldier on it. It's not a problem. Anyway, we can see. We can see the trapdoor and fence gate arrangement that I've been using here. Uh, this is what I was trying to show you last time. So just through there, they get a little view if they are back on the floor over here. And if the villager is bobbing up and down in water. Now we need to do a few things to make that happen. The first one, I want to take you on a little adventure with me. We're going to come up to the top here. We're going to find out whether I've slept recently because it's phantom time. Uh, I'm going to grab out a little bit of sponge. Let's grab three of them and see what happens. Uh, pop that back. Uh, is this, is this going to lead to troubles? I don't know. I've also been having a few few fights along the way. I, I'm, I'm very tempted to release an hour to chill to Trident's. That, that, might, that might be fun. But if we come down here, uh, we end up in a whole bunch of water. I dropped down too far. We end up in a whole bunch of water. And if I just kind of throw this here, we've got a nice open space. All right, that's uh, that's beautiful. Uh, you might be like, hey, didn't you just say that the villagers need to bob on water? And indeed they do. So I go around and knock these out like this. And they bob in the middle of just like this, which is not the best fate to imagine for any uh, sentient creature. I can't get out of here now. I've made myself a proper... Wait, where's my ender pearls? Okay, we, 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 I, I need to turn the trap doors the other way up so that I can swim underneath okay that that that's not a big problem i also have four smooth sandstone here let's just up, 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 up. okay all right there we, there we go that that looks a little bit better now that they should be super safe in here i don't think there's any way for the villagers not to be safe uh which might be demonstrated by my lack of ability to get the uh, the ender pearl out through that tiny gap there okay i don't know whether i need to dig some space around here so that as they approach they don't lo lose line of of sight but for now we need to head off in this direction because I've been talking a lot about villagers where are we going to be getting villagers from well it so happens that I've already uh, not solved this issue but thought about this issue do you ever wish that you'd actually swam up to the surface jumped on the small structure you've got there and flew away I'm, I'm kind of feeling that regret right now I'm also going to trim the kelp just a little bit most of this kelp was generated when there was a little bug in the game which meant it wouldn't stop growing it would just carry on going up to the surface of the water uh, and uh, now now you can see it all it's all all the way up but now it'll it will still grow most of the way up but uh, it, it, it stops uh, and that's good look look at these guys over here I managed to uh, to have these guys follow me around uh, a little bit early uh, I didn't I didn't know that was there uh, and uh, we, we, we're gonna be able to uh, turn these into some friends here I mean that it's not like they're not, they're not already friends uh, I have a project box here that I've been working on I think I want to separate them out into to two separate boats but uh, I, I need to also do this and that okay if you if you don't know if you just go up and randomly hit this the, the chances are you're gonna hit your villager friends but if we go and grab that like this I don't know how I'm gonna separate them oh I didn't even think about the fact that it's burning time uh, okay well you go in the mm, okay that's not great we're probably gonna watch these guys die right that's that that's a problem that's a pro that that's also a problem that hole there ah goodbye my friends I only knew you for a short time but that's fine <laughs> I can't get the block in there that's what I was trying to <laughs> well not everything can go smoothly I guess I'm gonna wait for night time <laughs> Okay, after a day of small chores, we're just going to walk up and down the beach and keep killing stuff. Oh man, that's... Uh, do I have a bow on me? Uh, that, that includes creepers. Uh, and uh, hopefully spawn ourselves a zombie villager relatively quickly. If the first thing we do is start damaging zombies, then hopefully zombies will start flowing out of the uh, the woods at us. It's one of, one of the greatest, um, greatest mechanics of the game that we can take advantage of is the, uh, the the zombie AI. It's, it's great. I love it. it. It's amazing. It's gonna take a while though, I think. Normally does. Let, let, let's just go around and kill a whole bunch of stuff. 
pretty mean now that I say it out loud. Let's go and no, no, there's no other way to put it. I'm just savagely murdering them for my own my own gains. Uh, I don't know where that skeleton is, but he could ruin my day. Yeah. So the system that I'm falling into here is every time that I'm down to a reasonable number of zombies, I stop attacking with my weapons and just start hitting uh, any of them, as many as show up, just with, with whatever weapon I've got that doesn't do a lot of damage. I'm looking to get a lot of hits without doing a lot of damage. This should summon a whole bunch of zombies out of the woods. It might take a little while for them to get here, uh, but they, they will be... Well, I don't know now. The, the, so far, it's been working out quite well for me, but this time, maybe not. We could have hit the mob cap. Uh, maybe they will try the, the secondary tactic that I've got. So if we just kill this guy... I mean, there's one, but one's not good enough. We're going to fly up twice with a uh, level 3 rocket, and that should be up high enough that we've cleared the, uh, the, the spawns down below. Of course, if you get over 125 blocks away, that's an enderman, don't worry about that, uh, then all, all the hostile mobs will despawn and you kind of refresh what's around. Let's just kill these. I noticed that sun up is coming though and that means we are running out of time and I don't want to spend another day doing this but I will if I have to. Uh, looking for the first zombie spawn that I can see uh, so I can start beating him up. I mean we can, we can go down into some caves and perform this same uh, little ritual but it would have been nicer to do it out here much easier to get them over to the farm okay we're just waiting for night time to officially begin i'm not sure really when we call that it kind of looks like the moon is higher than the sun so let's go down and see what we can spawn in this time uh, i'm hoping once again that we get a strong zombie contingent see i'm not seeing them in fact i see a creeper and i'm not prepared okay here comes the first contestants of bed slappy so let's uh, let's give them a little bit and see what happens here. I'm hoping we're gonna get a lot of zombies. Okay, that's probably enough to get going with. I can probably give that other guy back there a bit of a slap about if need be. If it if they weren't gonna be the ones that were summoning, maybe this guy will be. I've noticed that skeleton back there. Maybe we need to take him out with the bow because uh, that could be a little bit awkward. And uh, I mean, the witch is nice, but it's not really top of my list of priorities. If if only Drowned went after the witches as well. I can't believe I missed that guy. Such an easy shot. Oh, we are go. We are go. Okay, I need to get this guy in a boat and then try and keep everybody else up. Don't, don't do it, man. Don't. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What have I done? Uh, water. Well, I mean, can't always be right. Can never be right. Okay, we're, we're good there. You. And then, he, are you not getting in the boat? Okay, you got in the boat. That That's fine. We're about to get creeping or something, aren't we? That's that's something to watch out for. Uh, okay, well, I guess I'm just going to sleep. If we just slap that down over there, deal with these guys as quick as... Yay, yay. Set myself on fire. Best best day ever. Okay, that that's good. We good? We good? We're going to sleep? Cue the creeper to blow up the beach just a little bit more. Okay, all good, all good. Uh, right. Whew. We've got, we've got one guy over here. Let's get rid of him quick. Let's do a quick sweep before we deal with those two because uh, obviously I'd rather not be interrupted partly through my, uh, my curing ritual if I can avoid it. Okay, I think, I think we're safe. I think we've mostly dealt with all the mobs around here. You were a lot closer than I was expecting. Okay, cool. I physically leant back there. That was crazy. Right, first off, you. Get, get out of there. Alright, we know what we're doing here, right? We we get a splash potion of weakness. We stand back far enough that we don't get ourselves. We, we missed the villager? No, we got the villager. It's alright, okay, that's, that's good. We got the villager. Uh, we get our singular golden apple. <laughs> I don't know why I brought two. Uh, and we give this guy a little feast. Now we just just keep him safe. We just you're right, buddy. It's you and me. We're gonna be fine. Oh, are we gonna be fine? One of the other problems, the creepers just kind of disappear into the foliage. Uh, I'm about it though. I'm about it. Adds adds to the challenge of the game. Oh, have you seen this thief trying to steal our sand? Do you know how precious sand is around here? How dare you? I don't even know where they took it from. Let's pop it there. Look, looks like that's the safest spot. 
Yes, yes, mate. All right, nice. Are you are you in the boat? Are you outside the boat? I can't quite tell. Okay, great, brilliant, brilliant. Oh my gosh, yeah, I know, you're disorientated, you're confused, it's okay, but I'm here with a gift, a gift that not many people get in their life. That's right, I'm giving you the gift of a purpose. Most people go through their lives, they, they come in just as confused as you are, screaming and wailing about how they don't know what's going on. Well, I'm here to tell you, I know what's going on for your life. You, you have a very important mission, and uh, that, that's... That's right. You, to, to fulfill that mission, we just need to bring you over here. Hopefully before the drowned uh, come along and ruin our day. Uh, I mean, that 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 also looks good. I want to turn this on because I'm not sure what happens if I do this. All right, now get on the platform. Get on the, pla get on, get on the platform. Please, these villagers, these villagers. Where are you actually going? Oh, I should have bought a bed, a bed, bed, bed. There you go. Come on, come on. Come, where where are you going? You're about to get eaten. Uh, I've got I've got the boat. <laughs> Seriously, what was that about? Like honestly, we we gotta have a word about productivity around here. Uh, let let's try getting on here. Can you see your boat? Is is that a thing? Not your boat, your bed. Can you get on get on the thing? Okay, I've got him on the platform. Is is that is that enough? Is getting him on the platform enough? Do you just be chill now, my brethren? I sure do hope so. Oop, oh, he slipped. Well, hello. Oh, you went all the way down. Oh, I was mildly concerned, but I didn't think this was... Oh, no. I thought we were going to get eaten by drowned. I didn't think this was going to be the problem. Now we ask the age-old question, do villagers swim? I think they do. I think they do. We're definitely about to find out. Oh, my friend, please. Uh, I don't think there's a drowned equivalent of a villager, so uh, good, good luck. Off you go. Um, hopefully you'll have a good time up there. Good, 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 good. Okay, we're good, we're good. No, Nobody's drowning here today. I don't have another trapdoor on me. Maybe we'll just go with a grey bit of glass. That that might be the winner for now. I'll come back and replace that with something more appropriate. But look! Oh, it's already working! It's already working! Yes! Yeah, oh, that's also gonna be problem I, I fixed one of these which 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 one was it that one okay that's also gonna be slightly problematic if we uh, travel up here uh we're, we're totally gonna just end up with oh look i've got a cherry boat here uh we're just gonna end up with these bobbing up and down i mean that's okay over the moon that's already working over the moon of course they could be uh, pathfinding to me as well uh but we we won't know for certain until we look at them go oh yeah i love this i love this, this is exactly what i want let's uh, pick up my bed uh and uh probably hide from the phantoms that are about to come along and ruin my day i mean we all know that's not true you just you just get in and out of the bed i can't the drowned the drowned are in my day Wait, 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 there are, there are issues. Oh, it may have already been too late, may already have been too late. Uh, I gotta, gotta cap this. Wait, let's, let's go look down here. Is it too late? Is it too late? No, we're safe. We're safe. Okay. Woo, I was a little bit worried then that one of them was gonna path find up and over and drop down the hole. That would have been, oh, terrible. Absolutely terrible.
I've got to say, the fields coming out of here are just right. I think there's just the right amount of space coming through. I feel all claustrophobic and locked in, just like I feel a uh, an actual oil rig would be. There's like trestle work and pallets everywhere. There's extra layers I can get up onto. There's uh, the produce coming down the line here. I've even got myself a de-drowner weapon over here. This maybe not so nice this is a little bit open here actually this is probably going to end up being a bedroom because i noticed that is something that i have forgotten from the design here let's uh oh, we can't rest whilst there are monsters nearby we may, all right let, let's take a deal with this uh, of course to remind you down the very bottom of here we have a villager the villager is taunting the drowned and they are wandering into these bubble columns and being pulled up to the top here uh where we could well, let's use the de-drowner that's what i've got it here for uh, thank thank you very very much. Uh, unfortunately, you have to just kind of open this up and attack, but that that's working well. The items kind of get stacked up here. Uh, you guys, have, oh, it's because it's night time and they're swimming against the current. Okay, the items get stacked together on this little uh, wall that we've got down here. The wall and the uh, the trap door stop the small drowns going through. They get picked up by this water stream here and uh, across a bunch of hoppers up the top. I have not bothered with any sort of item filtering because like we're just we're just getting the produce of the farm. There's not a great deal coming out if we have a look in here. Two tridents already. Wow. Okay, I was uh, two tridents nice that that's good a bunch of rotten flesh and copper ingots more drowned head than copper ingots i wish i could turn that down i do not know how to do so uh, a few little space fillers over here it's not really like i mean this this is a space filler but like over here we've got an elytra launch pad uh some space for extra storage we've even got around the back here Th this bit that hangs off over the edge much more of that i think we need much more of that but this is a fully functional and operational farm right now it has taken oh best part of two months something like that going around doing the spawn proofing underground making sure everything is uh, safe go doing around and making all the lights on the floor of Lake Pizzazz here so the drowned will spawn exactly where I want them to as you can see a big old circle here and of course trying to work out drowned AI has been quite the adventure do you think I can sleep if I put a bed over here yes it turns out yes I'd definitely say the hardest bit is trying to sort this particular mechanism out I really need you to stop being there mate like you're the one stopping everybody there we go we just needed to uh, to give them a little nudge and and everybody should now funnel through. Uh, we can then continue the harvesting of all the goodies. Of course, the number of drowns with tridents come, that come through is quite slim. Uh, I was surprised at the number of tridents we've got in the system already. But I think that's it for this little adventure here. Of course, if you want to come and see what's going on, server's open, come and check it out. Uh, I will see you guys next time when we're going to make charged creepers. It's, it's time to blow up some big portions of the world and uh, stri strike them with lightning and have a good time trying to get that banner pattern that we've been after oh, about half a year. So I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.